Here's how to solve problems when they want you to find the value of the underlying digit and write a value that's one-tenth of its value. So let's look at the directions a little more closely. So it says find the value, and the value is just the amount the digit's actually worth or the number's actually worth. You're going to find the value of the underlying digit, and the, a, a digit is just a single number, 0 through 9, and then you're going to write a value that's one-tenth of the original value. So when you see one-tenth, that means divided by 10. You can think about that or because of a fraction, if you had a, a fraction that you broke into tenths, you would have to divide this into 10 pieces. So this is divided by 10. One tenth means the same thing as divided by 10. So in, this, in these types of questions, you're going to first find the original value, and then you're going to divide that original value by 10. So let's look at some examples. All right, so let's look at number one. So first we're going to find the value of the underlying digit. So this one is in the thousands place, so its value is 1,000. And then we're going to find a value that is one-tenth of that. Or you could say we're going to divide that by 10. We're going to do 1,000 divided by 10. That might be too hard for you, but it's never too hard to divide by 10 when you think about the relationship between the place values. So for every time you move to the next place, as you're moving from right to left, it's multiplying by 10. So from 10 thousands to 100 thousands, it's multiplying by 10 and getting 10 times bigger. From a million to 10 million, you've multiplied by 10 to get 10 times bigger. Well, you can also go the other way. You can start on the left and move to the right. If you start here and you move to here, you haven't gotten 10 times bigger, you've gotten 10 times smaller. 10 times smaller means divided by 10. It's the opposite of 10 times bigger. So if you get 10 times bigger, you've multiplied by 10. So if you get 10 times smaller, you've divided by 10. So dividing by 10 is getting 10 times smaller. Another way you can say that is 1 tenth. 1 tenth and divided by 10 mean the same thing. They're both getting 10 times smaller. So if we have this 1,000, we could divide by 10, or we could just move the digit 1 into the place that's 10 times smaller. So 10 times smaller than 1,000 is 100. So if we move this 1 to the hundreds place, it would be 10 times smaller. So when we write our answer, we just need to make sure that the 1 is now in the hundreds place. So let's look at number three. So for number three, the value of the five is 500. Right now, the five's in the hundreds place. To get one-tenth of its value, we just divide by 10, 500 divided by 10. But to make it even easier, we can just move this digit five over one place to make it 10 times smaller. So we're going to move it one place over, and instead of the hundreds place, we'll put it in the tens place. So 50 is one-tenth of 500. Let's look at number 12. Right now, the value of the 9 is 90,000. To make it 10 times smaller, or one-tenth of its original value, we can just move the 9 over one place. So instead of the 10 thousands place, we want to put the 9 now in the 1 thousands place. So 9,000 is one-tenth of 90,000. All right, you go ahead and try the rest of these problems. If you get hung up, you can just re-watch the video. Good luck!